All right, let's let's go ahead and look at um, a larger time frame. Go into a larger time frame, into a smaller time frame. And like I said, you have to bear with my voice here this morning. Um, lost my voice a little bit, so we'll make this pretty quick. We all know if you look right here where uh, my arrow's at. Uh, we all know to look for retracements. We are looking for speed bars to come in out of consolidation. So this is a favorite way how to trade the trend box on any market, any time frame. We look for a consolidation, big consolidation bar. Uh, I mean, consolidation box, that means it's over 10 plus, I'm sorry, five plus candles inside of the box, five plus candles inside the box. Once you get a speed bar, which is the best that you're gonna get is one candle that prints inside of a closed box. You got speed in the market. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's less. It's almost less than five. There's less the, the less than five or five or four. Less than four is the best. I go five now on larger time frames. But um, if you look at that's two candles that print inside of the speed box. That tells me that we are getting getting speed in the market. We want to do what? We want to look for retracements below. Right when you get above that 80%, right at 90%, look for sells right here all the way down. These are all short side setups. Look for negative market delta to pull you in the trade. You can look for that uh, low doji close I showed you how to do. But that's your normal setup, okay, when we're looking for speed bars. We're looking for consolidation box here, consolidation before speed. So this is consolidation before speed. That's your typical way that we want to trade these this system and that's the beauty of the of the trend box the beauty of the trend box is as a trader we need volatility and if we get caught trading range we're gonna get stopped out a lot so what we have to do as traders we have to find out where is the best time to place an order based upon volatility because if you are playing volatility you have speed in the market and that's the beauty of the trend box the beauty of the trend box it tells me where the speed is so what I want to do is I want to see consolidation before speed. So if trend is down, I want to see consolidation box. I want to see a consolidation box. And right when I see a consolidation box, I want to see what? I want to see speed in the market. Because now I can get involved on a retracement. So I want to see a consolidation. That's a consolidation. Close box. Then right here, when you get that box it closes remember the reason this works so well this is not my opinion is not your opinion these are electronically traded markets it's taken all the algorithms out there it's taken all the algos it's taken all the high frequency traders all the professional traders all the novice traders it's taken all the volume in the market all the hedge funds all the prop firms it's it's printing it's letting you know what the activity is in the market are we getting speed in the market or are we consolidating in the market and that's why the trend filter picks this up so well. So we as traders need to be involved in when the market has speed because then retracement trading becomes a nice way to pop in the market because it what we'll do, you'll get a trend going with speed. The market will pop back down here on a snapback trade or a retracement. And that retracement should continue. It's called a continuation trade. You should see continuation in the market based upon speed the market because the market cannot go straight down it's an orderly market so the market cannot go straight down so it has to do retracements down here right so we're looking for retracement retracement sell retracement sell retracement sell retracement sell retracement sell right now All right so we want negative market delta fire in on this next one also so that's what we typically do now what you can do though is trade off of a larger time frame and a smaller time frame so this is a nine Simrinko. let me show you how to trade off a larger time frame into smaller these trades typically are your biggest trades of the day on any market <clears throat> so here's a nine Simrinko bar now watch how we do this there's another technique that I like to use trying to catch the larger time frame into a smaller time frame now what we can do is we can look at the larger time frame and say hey when are we at a full retracement so I can get into a small retracement when there's speed coming in the market to get me out of that full retracement. When am I going to 
can that full retracement, is that full retracement going to stop on the large time frame is what I'm saying. So let's go over to the large time frame over here. Now, how can I be sure or have a high probability setup where I, I know as a trader that it's possibly going to turn at that particular point in time? Or is it going to continue up on a retracement? Meaning, right here, if we, if on this retracement, we got a full retracement on here, right? And right, right at this high. How can I tell as a trader, or, or in a high probability trade, if it's not just going to continue up, 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 up? Because we see time and time again that it can get above 90%, but it can keep going up. Stochastics can be overbought or oversold. A full retracement bars can be overbought or oversold for a long, long time. So what we have to do as traders is we have to make sure that we have what speed in the market. So we want to make sure that if we're entering the trade, we have a high probability set up on our side. So on these four retracements, how can we have the edge as a trader on trying to dictate and trying to project that trade working out and this trade working out? What we can do is this. When we get above 90%, and I like to start watching when they get above 80%. It gets above 80% down here on the 9 Simrico. Trend is down already, right? Moving averages are down. We're selling retracements. When it gets up to this point in time above 80%, and I'm sitting right here at this bar, I start looking at the 3 Simrico. Let me show you the first trade, and we'll go to the second trade. Because what happens at the 9 Simrico, here it is. These bars right here, these close, um, close, um, sorry, boxes right here, the market is at the top of the range on the 9 Simrico. All right, so we're at the top of the range. We're above 90%. But what happens? We're consolidating, right? These are big consolidation box. Big consolidation. This, this is a 9 Sim 4 retracement. So right here at this level, right at that high, is the high over here, right there on the 9 cent. So that high is projected on the high up here. Now look what happens. That projected high, this box, this closed box, tells me that I'm still in a consolidation phase. The 9 sim is above 90 percent. So what tells me it can get out of that phase and start going down? Right here. Your speed box. It looks like this on 9 sim rank on any given market any market you look at, it will look just like this on any market, any Forex, currency, any futures. It looks just like this. Here's a two-candle close inside of a closed speed box. What does that tell me? We're coming off of the 9 Simrenko. And there's your big trade. Look at the next one. It looks like this every single time off of a consolidation box. Here, we come up, right, on the 9 Simrenko. We are what? We're above 90%. Right there, above 90%. Start watching what? Your 3 Simrenko. Because when it's at that high, which is over here, right there's the high. Right there. What do you look for? Look for speed. There's a speed box to get you out and get the market moving. So how you can play it is, is what I'm saying is, is you can actually play it on a 9 sim 4 retracement on the first speed box. You can play them on these first boxes if your 9 sim is fully retraced to catch the high of the move. Right here. Then when the market gets rolling, we can do this. Trade the retracements if you missed it. Trade that retracement. Trade that retracement after the speed box. So you can catch this both ways. You can not only catch it on the full retracement off the 9, you can catch it when it's rolling to the downside. Full retracement here. Full retracement here. Look at the beauty of that setup. Because what you can do is we can catch the speed outside when the 9's actually starting to turn. You get in right when you see a speed box, you can pull the trigger. The best ones are when you first break symmetry dots also. Off the 3 sim. When you get speed box on 3 sim, you can enter, you can place your stop two bars back above that high. So what you can do is you can actually see it come in, 
what I do, I can do a little bit larger. I look where the box closes, and that's my stop right there. Bar closes. I see where the bar closes at. That's my stop right there. Okay. What you can do after you enter it, you can actually bring it down to two bars back. That's inside the box, one, two. And then you could go two ticks above that swing high if you want, if you want a smaller stop. It depends how you want to do it. I make it easy. I just lower it down to the closed box. That's how you can get these big trades before even a retracement happens. So you can actually get the momentum of the 9 sim at the emphasis of the move. Okay? So you can, you can actually go two bars back if you want, or you can go the high of the speed box, a little larger stop. It depends how you want to do it, Leo. It's up to you. Once you start seeing the setup, you can adjust your stop depending on your reward, reward to risk that you want. You want a real small stop, I'll do a couple bars back from the closed box, I mean from the closed can and the, where the candle's closed, two candles or three candles less, and then you can put your stop there if you want. You'll get in the rhythm of it if you start seeing the setup because it works this way on all markets. It's the same exact looking setup. You go consolidation box, you're, you're going to see these big wide boxes on the 3 sim right when you're above 90% or below 10% on your 9 sim Reiko. So we're catching this both ways. Let me go over this again. We're catching this here Oops. when the 9 sim is fully retraced. Look for a big consolidation box. Here's your consolidation box. Right there. So you can catch it here before the big move at this level. Right? We can catch it right there. Start watching for this. It happens every week on all these markets. You can catch it here, or what do, you, what do we do? We try to catch it on what? These retracement levels. Retracement level. Retracement level. Retracement level. We just had another retracement level. Right here. Another one. So what we can do then is we can actually get on the three sim, we can get on board on catching the infancy of the move, which is here, or we start catching these guys. These are your retracement in entries because of the oscillator below is above 90%. So now we can not only get the emphasis of the move, we can get retracement moves with trend. Oops. All right. And we just had to trade a second ago right here. So here is the emphasis of the move based upon the 9 cent consolidation box here. And what you're going to get used to also, this happens a lot too. You can actually catch it right here also. If you get really good at this, start watching this, you can catch it right at the high after a consolidation box. In other words, if I see a 9 sim consolidation box and I see a full retracement right here, you can jump the gun right there and get in right before the big move also on the 9 sim. But these are all spots you can enter the market off the 3 sim. See this last one's a successful trade again, just got off the first target. Why? You're above 90%, trends down. But these levels right here are the emphasis of the, of the move, is when the 9 sim is fully retraced. That's why, that's how I use the larger time frame. Right here, larger time frame trades. These are larger time frame trades, and these are your retracement trades with speed. Yeah, David, I've actually um, tested all week. We have no scaling issues at all. No scaling issues at all. None whatsoever. So I've tested it. This is a larger time frame I've been using. I've shown everybody. Um, we've had no issues at all. Here's some of the setup based upon this time frame. This is this is what type of trading you can expect. Let's see, what was Monday's date? 
Uh, Monday, Monday, Monday. The third. Okay, so we'll go third here. So here's all the trades this week on this time frame. There's all the trades on this time frame. This is the, these are short runners. Obviously, you can set it to larger runners. You know, these moves are pretty pronounced on this time frame. And you get some big moves. And I'll show you how to put these parameters in. I just took a short this morning for a $500 trade this morning off this time frame. But um, then you can go in and see the accuracy on it. Like I said, on this time frame with the this, this stop parameter, this is pretty good. Over the last 30 days, it's done just under 10 with two contracts uh, with this stop parameter. Um, so it's been around 86% accurate. It's had two losers, five break-even trades, and 43 on the winning side. So I'll show you how to do this. I've been running this all week just to see if the scaling is um, – if the scaling is good, it's it's scaling pretty good. I mean, it's everything looks pretty good on it. So we should be good to go. And we'll go over conference call, and we're good.